Hi guys, uh, welcome to my channel, Anchored Advice. Um, this is going to be a reading for Taurus for March uh, 12th to the 13th, 2022. And of course, um, there's a whole bunch of people out there. This is not going to be every single person's story. Take what's yours and leave the rest alone. Also, feel free to swap around the energy. I could always be talking to a cross watcher or someone that you're dealing with. <clears throat> my throat's kind of sore, excuse me. But, um... We do have the Venus Mars conjunction. Uh, it's finalizing like in April, so a lot of you guys are getting more into alignment. Uh, but okay, so Taurus, you versus them, March 12th to the 13th, 2022, last shuffle Taurus. Um, okay, Angel of Balance. You see, again, a lot of things are getting more into alignment, balanced out for you. And it could be like um, you're being very specific, you know, you're. Kind of, you have a plan with something or someone, or like maybe even a job or um, someone in your life. Like someone's helping you heal, helping you get balanced, you're helping them. Uh, with Goddess of the Moon here, I feel like you have a lot of emotions, um, but you're not sure about, maybe someone that's very mysterious, or they're not sure about you, the thinking woman. Seven Shocker, but I feel like um, you dealing with them Whoever, like, you're on the right path with that seven chakra. That's the crown chakra. So you're on the right path here. Uh, right now, you might just need to um, just relax. Uh, you don't have to have everything figured out right now. Um, on your person's side of the world, it's a completion of a cycle. Like, um, maybe they're having to learn how to get out of their heads. And that could be uh, where you guys are at. Um, you could be balancing out, like, games or from shady people. And caring connections or you're just walking away from shadiness and um going towards friends family a loving relationship door to personal healing and happiness and this is something that um you do enjoy something that can make you happy so it's looking like something that i mean you deserve happiness for us so you versus them march 12th to the 13th 2022 you could be dealing with someone that you find very balanced and healing or vice versa they see you that way Last Shuffle Taurus, you versus them, March 12th to the 13th, 2022. But it's looking like you guys are at a distance. Um, you guys both could just be focusing on finances. There's some sort of um, withdrawal there, like uh, maybe not like in a huge emotional connection, but it's starting to wake up um, here. And it's because you guys are becoming one or you guys are one or it's because it's more of a spiritual connection. So it's like um, the emotions aren't 100% there yet, but this can be successful or, or you are successful, and there's people hating on you for that. Like, they're jealous of it. Um, you can see this person as successful, and you're jealous of them even. Or you feel like they're lying. Uh, but with this temptation card, I feel like that's just negative energy with the base chakra that you need to ground. Uh, them too, you know, they could be thinking like you're evil or something like that. Um, but I feel like they just they know that they need to ground themselves and also awaken to something. Awaken to like, you know... Um, that's just negative energy, like, uh, that's just toxic thinking patterns. See, this is actually something stable. You could also be having a desire to buy a house, move with someone that you see as very stable. Um, and it's kind of, a, again, divinely guided. Right now, you guys just need to ground yourselves. So with the power here, I feel like, um, all this negative energy is actually something that you can use as motivation, um, for conflict, you know, you just need to get this out of your head I feel like it might be keeping you stuck or making you think that you are or making you think that this person hates you Or that um, and that's not really true Uh with that animal and human side right there. Just balance that out Um, a lion also has a lot to do with um, being made pure, you know Um, being powerful this person, you know, they could know that That they have to that this is just past damage heartache and loss you see passion ignited, that this is something that um, can bruise up their passion, something that they can actually love, something. And this doesn't have to always be a past person. It can be a new person, too. Uh, but this is also someone brand new where they know, uh, like, let's say if it's a past person, they know that if they get over the heartache and loss, you guys could have a new beginning and this can grow. Um, this also might be someone you have kids with. Just a heartache and loss. Someone you do have kids with, want kids with. See, it's like they're having new beginnings in their life. Like, if they lost a lot of stuff, that was just planting seeds for new beginnings for them. You know, it's, it's nothing really personal. You see, one, 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 that's four ones. Uh, that's 11, 11. This also is a twin flame situation. Um, they could have, be having new beginnings in their life where their wishes are coming true. 
So right now you guys just have to get grounded. You know, let's say they're more successful than you. Um, don't really hate on that. You know, um, we all get the blessings we deserve. So none of us should be jealous of anyone's like like blessings because we all go through our own trials and tribulations to earn those blessings. So if people are hating on you or you're hating on them, it's like you guys earn these blessings, you know. So choose wisely and um and making sure you don't like fall into these negative vibrations. And, you know, I feel like right now it's just a time for you guys to build your confidence with that solar plexus chakra. So again, you guys are getting more and more into alignment. What's that power? Uh, deceit, envy, Taurus. Is, think. You see, this is like, um, this is something that's very strong because the love, you know, you guys have a lot of love for this person. You guys have a big heart, both of you guys. Uh, right now, you guys might just have some emotions to work on that's, you know, creating obstacles and challenges. I feel like this is something that can be successful, you know. It's a firm foundation. It's just there's this um, insecurity, distance, or something like that. You might know that you guys will have kids or that um, this person will live with you until someone gets pregnant or you're going to move back with, with someone that you have kids with. But let's see here. Any other messages for Taurus from March 12th to the 13th, 2022? So again, right now you're kind of exactly where you're supposed to be. Even if you feel kind of left out or like um, insecure or something like that. Taurus, when I shuffle you versus them, March 12th to the 13th, 2022. You know, right now you guys are just having to get mature. See, it's another five. Um, and that's... A 41 which is a five so right now you guys are both just very mature um yes you guys might be emotionally withdrawn but it's a firm foundation so even if you guys are separated it's looking like you guys are a team you see community someone could be in the public eye um something with the house here so someone could be wanting a house and using the community to get that like um, someone has a business, you have a business and you're working on getting a new house uh, and you're being mature about it. Or it's like, um, yeah, with this child here, see someone might be getting pregnant soon, March 12th to the 13th. Uh, with main female here, I feel like this is the main person in, in your life, but it came out upside down. So you may not be wanting, you may not have the main person in your life, the person you're wanting at this time. Or it's like they're not the only one. Take that however it is you can relate. Um, or this is something that you're worried about. That you're not the only one. They're not the only one. Taurus, you versus them. March 12th to 13th. Sorry if these cards are loud. They're kind of new. Um, see, it's like you could be having to uh, withdraw from fake people. Or they're wanting to withdraw from someone that is fake. You are um, withdrawing from fake friends and family with that community that we saw. Uh, like people that are holding them back, you know, you guys are having to take a step back there That's an eight and an eight. So you guys are at this crossroads here and you guys could be trying to figure out who's fake um, On your side here. We have message of concern and privileged lady You could be worried about this person who doesn't really have to work Or this person's worried about you like oh, they're just a bum, you know, take it however it is you can relate um, But I feel like uh, with the toil and labor both of you guys do work or are wanting to work or expecting to work you know um right now it's just worries but this is going to change it's going to be equal give and take you know this is the year of the six which is the year of equal give and take you see third eye chakra so they're awakening to their purpose um their job you know their independence so that they could get a job get more prosperous in their life get more stable in their own life adjudication um they could be perfect adjudication judging whether or not to have a relationship with you and or change um like this could be changing the whole situation because they could be seeing you as someone that's very mature or they're becoming mature and it's like you could have a relationship with them they're becoming mature because of your judgment possibly uh, but all right guys i'm going to go ahead and close it out here if this resonates with you guys uh, you guys are more than welcome to like, share, leave a comment, and subscribe. Much love. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please take care of yourselves, and I'll be talking to you guys later. Thank you. Um, Wait, what was... Hold on, hold on. Wait, guys. Okay, so... Did I not have a card for the indecision? Two, four, five. 
I don't. Because then I owe you guys one card. Hold on. I want to give you guys a partial of a message. Do I? Yeah, I don't. Okay, no, no, no. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. All right. Much love, guys. Talk to you later. Namaste. Bye.